Right. Okay. Yeah, it's going to get camp. Okay. Um, so we're moving on to number six then? Yep. Number okay. five. Oh, yeah. Six. Yeah. So update on rate structures for the district. Now, was that kind of what we just went over? Or? No, Jesse has something on that. So this is our rate structure that we publish, and um, the board adopts it and updates it um, whenever any rate changes. And Colleen brought to my attention that we did not do a formal adoption, although we passed a resolution stating that the rate increase would take place. Um, to be formal and thorough, um, it would, we need to adopt this new rate schedule. So the only thing that changed in it is this $32 a month here and here and here. Literally the only figures that were changed, um, everything else on there is the same as we've been operating. So what was it before, the $8 less? Yes, it was the uh, $28. Okay. Or I'm sorry, the well, $24. You know, Jesse, I have a question on, on that. I, I am wondering if because there was a formal resolution adopted at the time that this was done um, for the $8 is I kind of would like to see that uh, base broken down and say, uh, the uh, 24 plus $8 water cap fee. I, I just would like to see it done that way because I know how things, you know, down the road, somebody looks at it. I, I just think we need to maintain that as what it is, water cap or reserve fund, yeah. And the total is 32, yeah. So maybe put the 32 and then put equals 24 plus 8, something like that. Yeah. Or All just right. make another line item. Oops. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. That's wonderful. Oh, I want to reserve fund. You got the fund over there. Okay, I'll work on the spacing a little bit here. Okay. Just kind of yeah, bring in some things fine. over and stuff like yeah. that. But basically like this. Right. Okay. I will work on some spacing, get us all lined up here and looking good. And um, so with okay. this change right here, we would just need uh, an adoption. No, no wait, I, I still don't agree. Okay. We, we really have to cover ourselves here because this rate schedule should be effective July 17th of 2019. We're just doing some housekeeping here. And I don't want to put us in a position of going back and saying all this time we couldn't have been charging it. I, I, I feel that old resolution, which was uh, 2019, 004, and 005, it's very specific. It was July 17th, Jesse, not the 27th. Um, that's the effective date. And then the resolutions were adopted and signed on the August 20th, which is still fine because they referred back to the July 17th date. And Jessie has wording that I drew up for her that uses the wording in those previous two resolutions so that there won't be any question about interruption, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, um, yes. Okay. I have a question on this. Mm -hmm. Based on our uh, discussion yesterday, uh, the uh, multifamily, is, which is more than one, uh, one, uh, right, one uh, dwelling, uh, is supposed to be commercial. So I don't know. Uh, um, how you what uh, what what was meant by this? If it's only you know if it, if you're saying just up to four units, because you have all those other condos that have uh, twelve and fifteen. So uh, are you uh, are you charging them uh, thirty two months 
or thirty-two dollars a month for each uh, unit, or uh, yeah, you're right. It does have kind of imply that wording here. Um, well, but wait a minute, you guys. This this is taken from where our rate schedule has been published like this forever. So until we get an attorney to look at our things, we are not going to change this. And the other thing, Larry, is we don't really have a commercial classification at this uh, point. Again, from what uh, what uh, what I read in the uh, in the resolution yesterday, is anything more than uh, 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 one uh, one dwelling is uh, considered commercial. So this is this is against our resolution. It is, um, and this is um, from the original the Exhibit A format, other than some of these uh, figures, is actually our original format. So yeah, that is interesting that the original resolution was adopted with this kind of being against what the resolution was. Yep, um, right. So, so yeah. But the other thing is, and I understand what your, your point is, Larry, but we actually there is an inconsistency that exists because part of the multifamily are being charged correctly at $32 for each resident and then like up at Dromore they're not. So uh, my feeling is we have been billing on this for a long time and until we get the reconciliation done and we get an attorney to look and change our ordinances, I don't want to just change this because it's going to affect existing accounts. I mean, it does now, but if we change it again, um, so you mean you're going to create more inconsistencies is what I'm that's my position I we need to get the job done before we start changing things okay. <clears throat> right you got a, what would you say the 25th was going for our lawyer interviews 27th is the lawyer interview okay. and how many have you got so far Jesse none none okay oh I I do know one's being made up right now I he, not sure when he's going to turn it in I'll, I'll get out a follow-up email um, to everyone I sent them to personally and inquire with them whether they plan to submit or not so that we have a better feel on that. Okay. So, Colleen, what do you want to do with this Exhibit A rate schedule? <laughs> we, we need to adopt it just the way it is now with the changes that we've made for the $32 Right. Um, and uh, and without, without changing multifamily service or anything like Correct. that. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So just with these these figures here, um, need to, yeah, I'll work on, I'm going to move this probably over here. Ah. But yeah, okay. so you guys kind of get the idea though. Ah. It's gonna get worse for it's better, but you guys get it. <laughs> okay. So do we have to we have to meet again after you get it fixed? I mean, we have to vote on it after you get it fixed, or can we just after the attorney changes our ordinance? Correct. Right. Right. Then we're, we're probably gonna have to make several changes once that is right. done. Correct. So we want to make a vote on this exhibit A right now, or do we want to hold up until she gets everything fixed? No, we oh, need yeah, to adopt it. Issue. Right. Yeah, we need to adopt it because it, it wasn't done. So, so we need to adopt um, it right, right now or when she gets fixed? No, right now. Okay. Yeah. So I'll make a motion uh, that we adopt um, the Exhibit A rate schedule as of July 17, 2019. 
Perfect, yes. <laughs> All right. So is there any seconds? I second. Okay, second. You want to call for You want to do more discussion real quick or you want to call for the vote? The only thing I'd like to add is that this uh, resolution of adoption has to be signed by each of us. So, Jesse, will you... Uh, get an email out as soon as you have that resolution ready to sign because all of us are going to have to stop by and sign it for her. It needs to be notarized. She's a notary. Okay. Okay. Yep, I can definitely do that. I will work on the spacing um, and then Colleen, you got me the resolution wording. Um, right. I and did. I will get that out to you guys and then yeah, we um, let's shoot for, um, well, we're going to meet you on Wednesday, so. Yeah, yeah, I'll be in the office tomorrow, so I'll, I'll work on this today, I'll get the email out to you guys today, and then, if you like it, we can all just, I'll be in the office from 8 to 03 tomorrow, yeah, so, probably. um, any time in there, you guys can stop by and sign it if you like it. Okay, great. Alrighty. Good job, Colleen. So, okay, yeah, we need to call, 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 call for the vote, vote then. Yes, call for the vote. A. A. Yes. No. No? No. Okay, and uh, Ted. Ted? Yeah. A. A, okay. Carries. So. Okay. Let's go to the next one.